Hey, it's Laura here from I Heart Planners, and today I'm going to show you how to make graphics to display printables or PDFs or downloads of some, some kind, especially if you're giving something away as an opt-in freebie on your blog. It is very helpful to display it in an appealing manner and to have graphics for social media and things like that. I teach a course on how to create your own printables. Um, I'll link to it below if you're interested, but people in there are frequently asking me how to showcase those. And there's actually a couple ways. Uh, one way is how I'm going to show you today where it's all graphics, so there's no actual photos involved. It looks something like this, um, still nice and attractive and better than just showing the printable. The other way is to use a stock photo of some sort with some negative space that you can just um, graphically overlay your printable and that's still very easy. Um, I show how to do that in my course or you could actually print, out, print it out, um, kind of stage it, put some props around it and take a photo of it. That's obviously the most time consuming uh, method of doing it and that's why you'll see a lot of people um, doing methods like this because um, it is pretty tricky to wait for the proper lighting, set up all the props, and do all of that and, um, for each printable that you create. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Canva. Um, this is a completely free online tool. Just go to canva.com. Create. I think you do need to create an account if you um, don't already have one, but it's uh, quick, easy, and free. And so I'm just going to pick um, this size right here, but you can add a custom size or pick any of these sizes. So you can make a different different one for, say, Facebook and Instagram and you know whatever dimensions that you need. So I'm going to just start here with a square image. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my printable. So it's right here. Um, it's in JPEG. You do need it in a JPEG form or PNG. Um, I'm just going to drag that in. And then it puts it right here in my library. And all I do is click and drag over. And yay, it's right there. Now you see that doesn't look too exciting yet because um, this is white and the background is white. So I highly recommend changing your background color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, you can use something from their default palette here of colors. Or if you click this little plus sign, it will bring up this wheel so you can select your own. Or if you have a color you already want to match, um, you can do that. But for, the, for today, I am going to pick out a color for us. Um, let's go with maybe a light purple. That's pretty okay. Um, and so that's all you have to do to change the color of your background. Um, now let's go back to the printable and let's do some sort of a shadow on the printable. There's different ways that you can do this, but my favorite way is just to click on elements here and then click on shapes. And I want to put a, a rectangle, so I'm going to take this square here, click on it, and it automatically drops it into the image. And all I'm going to do is click on it and drag it over. So I want to make it about the same size, a little bit bigger than my printable. So to do that, I'm going to um, click and drag. And it's kind of, um, if you were doing this yourself, you would feel how it, or not feel, but you would notice as you get closer to the edge, it's kind of automatically locking it in there. So it's easy to make something that's the exact same size. All right, um, so there we go. Um, it's the same size there, and then I want to resize it here. Okay, um, and you'll see what this is going in a minute. Okay, so right now that's the same size as the printable underneath. Um, we will send it to the back, don't worry. Um, then I'm just going to click on the little corner and I make it slightly bigger. Next, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of it. Um, so to change the color, once you've got to make sure it's selected. And right up here, um, this little bar, this thing, it changes the color. So you need to click on the color. It's saying that it's black right now, but I want to change it to a light gray for drop shadow. Next, I want to go to arrange. Um, and if ever you click off of it, just make sure that you click on it again. Um, that's a common problem that people have. I'm going to click on arrange and I'm just going to go back. Yay. Okay. Now it's behind. Um, and we can, we can move it around. I mean, what you could do is like have a complete shadow over the whole thing or more of like a drop shadow, which is what I think I want to do. Um, I think it's actually a little big, so I'm going to kind of make it a little bit smaller there. 
Um, when you click on the corners in resize, it's going to keep it in proportion, but if you click on one of these in the middle, um, you can drag it f more freely. Um, Alright, I think that looks uh, pretty good for a drop shadow. Um, it just helps it kind of stand out a little bit more. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on um, the top one, the actual printable, and then I'm going to hold down shift and click the bottom, that gray square. So now I've selected both of those and I'm going to group them. So that way I keep them together um, so it's easier to move and resize. So you can just drag the corner now and resize. I mean, you could do a zoom in. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to click this on this little arrow and it's going to help me rotate it. So I'm just going to kind of move it down, rotate a little bit. I think that may be a little bit too much. Um, like that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I might make it a little bit smaller actually. Okay. Um, then I want to add some text. So I just click on text over here. I add the heading. Um, we're going to call that, I just double clicked in there to highlight it. We're going to call it free printable. Um, and I want to move this up, obviously. So what you want to do is bring your mouse over here. I'm not clicking on anything. Um, and bring it around this dotted line a little um, until you see that arrow with four sides. And then click and drag. And that means you can freely drag. And then I'm just going to drag up to where I want it. And if I, as I drag side to side, you'll see that dashed line up here in the middle. That means it's centered. So it kind of helps you line things up appropriately. All right, so I'm going to double click here, select all of that text, and then I'm going to change it. Um, these are all the font choices that you have. I like Sacramento personally. Um, and then I want to change um, this to make it a lot bigger. I just kind of, um, I think you could actually type in there too. So if I wanted something in between what was shown, that would be an option. I also want to change the color. I want to make it white. So this little thing changes it. And there's a white. This is it's hard, kind of hard to see, but that's actually a white option already pre-made uh, for you. Okay. And then um, I want to add a subheading. And I'm going to double click in there. And I'm going to call this, um, we're going to have free printable weekly docket. Then I'm going to um, move it like I showed you before, keep it lined up. I think that's a good size. You're welcome to change, you know, you could change the style of that font if you wanted to. Um, you can also kind of use these as a head start. Um, if you click on them, it'll just put them in your image and you can drag them around. You can change the color of them, of each element separately. Um, if you want this little graphic. So there's a lot of options there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, so that there you have it. It's really that easy. I mean, you can add other little decorations um, and things like that. Um, so the sky is really the limit here. Um, all these little illustrations. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, and before you put this on your blog, obviously you're going to need it in a format that um, you can use on your blog or on social media. So just click download and I would recommend saving it as they do as a PNG. That's perfect. Um, and just click download and it will prepare your design and automatically download it to your downloads folder on your computer. And then you could use it like you would any other image. Um, Another thing you could do, just giving giving you some ideas, helping you think outside the box here. So I'm going to, uh, I just added the square. I'm going to move this over and I'm going to make it like a thick line here. So, um, like if you wanted a thick line there, if you wanted to add some details in here, or if you wanted to bring this down to the bottom and say, put your uh, blog name in there. Um, I'm going to do www.iheartplanners.com Name of my blog. I'm going to bring that down. It's centered. Um, obviously, you can't see it because it's black. So I'm just going to change the color to white. Um, so yeah, that's just another option of something you could do. So uh, I like that this is pretty easy to use. And um, I, get, I really recommend that it's, that looks a lot better and a lot more appealing. And you can be shared on social media than just an image of the printable itself. So I highly recommend taking a little bit of extra time to create this for yourself and I can't wait to see what you create.